this news when I saw them, they were very disturbing. As a young man who was raised in a poor family, and it took over the role of paying school fees at my tender age, uh, it bothers me. It was really bad. Because I've been paying school fees for my younger brothers and sisters, and uh, it has not been very, very easy. So I put all these issues on my shoes, that a parent has been paying school fees for four years, expecting his young boy, his young girl, to come with something at the end of the four years. I liken this one to a hunter. If a young man of, a, of an old man climbs a local tree in order to get some firewood for his family, at least to have some heat in their house, and comes down the tree without anything, with bare handed. It's very shameful. It's very shameful. And who do we blame? Did have our leaders questioned what really happened? Did they know that this was going to happen so that they can even summon the teachers who were marking these exams? Ask them what criteria did they use to fail all the 181 students in a school. It doesn't make any logical sense that in all these 181 students cheated, that they were all fools, they never did, knew anything to do, that all they wanted to do is just to cheat. Very good example of Kizzi High School, where my former principal is, Pascal Mumanyi. I understand Mr. Mumanyi. I was his student. He's a man who can even think that they are going to cheat. You will be in his office that minute, and that the bidding you will receive is really bad. So, he is a man who has discouraged the fights for all these years that this, he has been in this, uh, in this profession. So, it's my appeal that we send out to our leaders to go question these results. As other speakers have said, in every speaker, a political thing has been raised. And I do believe that if you wake up one morning and you find a frog jumping on his tail, there must be a meaning. If an alligator comes out of the river one morning and tells you that the crocodile is sick, you should never doubt the message. So as from here in diaspora, we have raised the voice that we are 99% sure that there is an influence in these results. So it's up to the government, the county government, it's about the leaders, it is about the principals, it's about the teachers to go and look for one percent and prove the parents that yes, indeed these students cheated. But unless that has happened, we still need serious answers. What really happened to these students? When earlier we were talking with other uh, leaders, uh, my brother Nyangenya, I didn't know that the rules had changed that these students are going to stay at home for the next four years. And that's a total of eight years somebody is going to be wasted. But the, if they reverse that, we had agreed to sponsor some, you know, some students. We had agreed to sponsor the people, of the students of Nyakweva. The same thing we will do to the 181 students of Nyabururu. I mean, of Kisses School, on their registration. But till then, 
we still demand for the answers. Let us raise our voice. Let us stand up for those voiceless parents in the village. It's us who will make a difference. I rest my case.